In this parasha, Avraham is forced to leave the land of Canaan and to travel to the land of the Plishtin, the Philistines. And he goes there with his wife, Sarah. But he has a concern. He knows that it is a place of incredible promiscuity. Sarah is a beautiful woman. And he's worried that perhaps he will be killed and she will be taken as somebody else's wife. So he comes up with a ruse. He's going to say that Sarah is not his wife, but his sister. And to begin with, this works. But then somebody sees Sarah, she's beautiful, and she is taken to the palace of the chief, whose name was Avimelech. And that night, Hashem comes to Avimelech, and he says, you dare lay a finger on this woman. She's a married woman. Her husband is a prophet. Let her go. And Avimelech wakes up in the morning. He's in a terrible state. Not only that, but during the night he was suffering from a terrible disease that would not allow him to be intimate with Sarah. And not only that, but all of the people in his household were struck with this terrible disease. And he approaches Avram in the morning and he says, look, I'm sorry for what had happened. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why didn't you say that Sarah was your wife and not your sister? But he returns Sarah. And what's really incredible is the reaction of Avraham to what had happened. One would have thought that Avram was furious. Here he was, a stranger, being taken advantage of, being oppressed by the local leader, and that he would curse him and he would leave. But he does completely the opposite. The Torah tells us that Avraham prayed for Avimelech, that he should get better, and that all of his wives and concubines should be allowed to have children. And he prayed, and that's exactly what happened. And the Talmud tells us that in return for this, Hashem answered his prayer first, and he and Sarah were blessed with a child with Yitzhak. And from here we are told by the sages that even when somebody has done something negative to you, and it may be something that was actually quite big, but if they come to you seeking forgiveness, you shouldn't be cruel, and you should be able to say, I forgive you. And that's what Abraham teaches us. We see this many, many years later on with Moshe, the Jewish people in the wilderness were complaining and moaning at him. Oh, the food isn't enough. The water isn't enough. Uh, the, the whole schlep of the way is just too long. They gave him a very, very hard time. And they were struck by a plague. And they came to him seeking forgiveness. And immediately Moshe turns around and prays to Hashem, please forgive them. Please cure them. Again, we see this principle. And this is mentioned in the Code of Jewish Law in regards to the laws before Yom Kippur. Before Yom Kippur, people come to one another and they say, look, I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I know I spoke Lushan Hora about you. I took something from you without asking. Please forgive me. It's hard to give that forgiveness. It's hard to be sincere. But it's something that we ought to do. If somebody comes to us with a broken heart and comes seeking an apology and forgiveness, we should be forgiving. And says the Talmud, if we are forgiving of others, Hashem will surely forgive us our sins. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.